Hail Satan. Hail Satan. Hail Lucifer. Hail Lord Belial. Hail Lord Leviathan. Hail beautiful Queen Lola, Lilith. Hail beautiful Queen Tiamath. Hail King Asmodeus. Hail King Asmode. Hail King Pazuzu. Hail King Azazel. Hail to every demon and every demoness that's in existence. I hope everybody's having a good day. Or morning or evening. Wherever you may be. I know yesterday I did a video on... Uh, I haven't got to upload it yet though, I don't think. I tried last night, but... My fucking internet sucks. I'm paying for the shit, and it sucks. Like, my Wi-Fi. Like, it's extremely slow. Like, way too slow. Well, that being said... Knowledge is power. So they say. Right? And absolute... And then they say absolute power corrupts. Well... I guess that depends on how you look at it. And that depends on what areas you're talking about it corrupting. Oh, Jesus. Fuck. God damn it, burn my fucking face. Shit. Sorry for that. Fuck sakes. Sorry about that, guys. I just burned my... Burn the side of my cheek with cigarette. Didn't realize I had it so close. <laughs> oh man, oh man, oh man. Anyway, yeah, power corrupts. They they say power corrupts and apps app or they say power is knowledge. Knowledge is power, and absolute power corrupts. But in saying that, what absolute power are they talking about that corrupts? Are they talking about the science? I think so, in my opinion, my honest, my honest opinion on that, on that situation, on that, that, them words that are coined in that phrase, fucking plain as well, but anyway, uh, yeah, if absolute power corrupts, I guess that's why the, the, all the Zion churches are so corrupt, and their leaders. That would be my, you know, that would be my explanation for that one. And in saying that, uh, being a true, sinister, sadistic, traditional, theistic, spiritual, Satanist, demonologer, necromancer, the more power we learn, the more knowledge we learn. The more knowledge we learn, the more we can put it into our rituals. The more we can place it into our rituals, and the more we learn about many demonic entities. Be it beautiful Queen Lilith, be it beautiful Queen Tiamath, be it, be it King Astaroth, Queen Astaroth, King Azazel, King Bil Lord Bilzebub, Lord Leviathan, Lord Croxell, Lord Dandelion, King Pazuzu, any of them. That means the closer we get, you know, the closer we get to them, the better it is. And, in all honesty, when we do rituals, and if we do them correctly, and if everything goes well during that ritual, we know, you know when you're doing a ritual that if everything is going, going well or not. Because if you're doing a ritual correctly, okay, and I, you know, and I made mistakes, and I still do, and I probably, I always will when it comes to doing rituals. Nobody's perfect. No one on this planet, anyway. No human. And in saying that, if we're doing a ritual, okay, or say I'm doing a ritual, and I don't do something right, it doesn't work, like it doesn't feel right, okay? And, it, you know, obviously the mistake was made on my part. Okay, you can't, you don't blame the demonic. You don't blame whichever demon or demoness that you were doing the ritual to. Uh, you don't blame them because you didn't do something right, because the ritual didn't go right. It's not their fault, it's yours. 
or mine or whoever's. And in saying that, uh, whichever ritual we're doing, to whichever demonic entity we're doing, and whichever ancient god we're doing it to, we uh, we probably and if we did something wrong in that ritual and we and it didn't feel right, we probably, in my honest opinion, okay, we probably just need to tweak something in the ritual that we did. And it might be the simplest little thing. You know, it could it could be the it could be the simplest little tiny thing that we need to tweak. We might just need to tweak a few words. We might just need to tweak part of our the demonic in we're saying. We might just need to tweak something on our altar. You never know. But I'm sure if you asked, I'm sure we would be guided to find out what it is that we screwed up on during the ritual but I don't really call it screwing up screwing up I call it a learning process because if we do a ritual say to I don't know I'll just say Lord Billsy Bob and if it if it doesn't go the way we, we thought it would go okay or if it didn't go like nothing happened or whatever right and if we thought well you know whatever negative thought we thought at that time now it's not Lord Billsy Bob's fault it's ours be it mine or be it somebody else uh, now in saying that I'm sure we will know all we gotta do is go back over everything we did in the ritual okay look at everything we did in the ritual analyze it for those of us that can analyze things, the ones that can't, well, we should have luck. But, <laughs> but in saying that, anyway, uh, yeah, we uh, we might only have to tweak a little thing, man. It might be the tiniest little thing in the ritual. And that's true. I'm not joking. It could be the simplest little thing. You know, we probably went into it with the wrong attitude. We probably didn't go into it expecting something, which we should. We probably didn't go into it with, you know, it could have been our attitude going in. We probably weren't even properly prepared to do the ritual correctly. You know, it's the simplest things, right? It could be the simplest little thing, and we don't even know it. Like our mind might not even have really been on the ritual. It might have been, but it might not have been on Lord Billsy Bob the way it should have been. Like, cause when we do when you do a ritual to a demonic entity, your mind has to be directly on that demonic entity, that ancient god that we're doing the ritual to. Like, if we're doing a ritual to Father Satan, if we're doing a ritual to Father Satan, our mind and everything else has to be totally on Father Father Satan, not on anything else, just on Father Satan. Because otherwise, we're just wasting fucking time. And that's the truth. And with that, I'll let you go. Only a short video now. I might do some. I might do a video on some invocations later. I'm not sure yet. Uh, with that, I'll let you go. Ave Satanas. Ave Lucifer. Ave Lord Belial. Ave Lord Leviathan. Ave Beautiful Queen Lilith. Ave Queen Tiamath. Ave King Pazuzu. Ave King Asmodeus. Ave King Asmode. Ave Lord Bilzebub. Ave Lord Vereen. Ave Queen, Queen Astaroth, Ave Queen Tiamath, Ave King Azazel, Ave to every demon and every demoness that there is in, in existence, and hail to every one of my true sinister Satanists, true sinister brothers and sisters. Ave Satanus, I'll talk to you next. Hail Satan.